everybody likes a good party, and for some men, that's their life. The Jewish calendar every year celebrates many things, and today it's Lag Baoma, and it's celebrated with bonfires. Ashdod had its own culture of celebrating life, and its name carried the idea of fire or passion for love. Philistines lived on the coast and controlled enormous agricultural and trading enterprises that brought money, pleasure and selfishness. Insight to the Philistines came from an unexpected quarter. Jean-Francois Champillion, the interpreter of the Rosetta Stone, turned his hieroglyphic skills to interpret, amongst other things, descriptions of Philistine life. So what did he find? He found Philistine and Egyptian ships were almost identical. Single furling sails, crow's nests and other features gave a clue to shared interests. Putting this together with the vast silos and the storage facilities that were found near Tel Aviv paints a picture of sophisticated local and international trading in grain. So what can we find at Ashdod? Ashdod was a coastal city. It likely had a shallow harbour on the Lake Hish Inlet that was guarded on both sides by Tel Moroth to the north and the hill of Jonah to the south. Local tradition suggests Jonah was buried here, but this is a long way from his home at Gathifa. The strategic value continues today with the lighthouse on the hill of Jonah previously used during the mandate to prevent approaching ships with Jewish immigrants. The quest for a good life continues locally. Locals enjoy the beach and the culture that is created by it. But we were in for a surprise in visiting Telmora. The Tel is located near the industrial port of Ashdod. It's an overgrown mound with very little to see, apart from this modern building next to it, a grain silo. And spilt on the ground next to this facility was grain from the trucks. So here in our very hands was the reason for the Philistines' economic success and their moral failure. Having surplus grain and surplus cash means time to indulge. But to be a Philistine was not so much rolling in the dust, but a continuity of habit, refusing to change from bad habits. This is the same meaning behind the proverb, as a dog returns to its vomit, so a fool returns to his folly. The Philistines never learnt this lesson. Their god Dagon was the god of harvest, both grain and fish. And the reason for the emrods or abscesses or boils in the time of the judges was an infection from the fleas that the rodents were carrying from eating the grain residues, an infection that spread, killing many. So what can we learn from Ashdod? This is the place where we need to learn to make decisions about our real passions. God was to say through Jeremiah, Is not my word like a fire? It's time for us to be stirred in a good thing. Bye for now.